Hi there, it's Phil Winks here. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your MacBook Pro to your old iMac, whether that's a 21 or a 27 inch iMac. Uh, you might be using a 5K Retina iMac and use that as a screen for your MacBook Pro. Now I'm going to show you very quickly how I've got this set up. And my setup here is that I've got my laptop here which is a macbook pro it's a 16 inch intel mac that i'm using here but you can use this with all of the m1 series or the m series max apple silicon and that would be ideal for you um, to use those so that you can then use your old iMac as a secondary screen for your MacBook Pro. Uh, this is what I've been asked to show people how this would work. Now, my setup today is quite a complex one, so there's likely to be a glitch or two in showing you the screens. It's just the fact that I'm um, recording on a screen just here. So this screen that you see here is where I'm making my recording. Um, but all of the activity is going to be on here. So we've got a bit of a complex setup, but I think it's going to work for, for us okay. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that we will be using a, a small USB dongle. Uh, it's a USB-C dongle, if I can turn it that way. And that is going to be plugged in to your... MacBook Pro. So you find a USB-C port on your MacBook Pro and plug it into one of the USB-C ports. And I can plug it into any one of the four that I've got on my old 2019 Intel Mac. And you hear a little bit of a, uh, a blip there. And I'm now going to show you the screen. So on the screen of my MacBook Pro, you can see that it's sensed that I've plugged the device in. Now there is a piece of software called Lunar Display that's on the MacBook Pro. So you load Lunar Display onto the MacBook Pro and onto the iMac, you load a, um, a program called Lunar Display Secondary. And that's already running on the iMac. Uh, and it is basically ready to go now. So I'm going to show you both screens. And on the left hand side screen, if I can try and show you that here. So on this screen here, we've got a little icon there on the dock, which is Lunar Display Secondary. And this screen here represents my MacBook Pro. OK, so that's what we've got. So I'm going to launch Lunar Secondary on the the 5K iMac. So I've launched it and there is a screen there that will automatically sense the connection between the two and you see how that's worked automatically. And I've now got an interface for Lunar Display over here and it's actually appeared on the 5K screen, uh, my iMac screen. And it says I'm looking at a peer-to-peer -peer connection. I could select here that I wanted Wi-Fi. So the connectivity between the two devices in this situation is a wireless connection and uh, Lunar Display connects up via a peer-to-peer -peer connection, which is a really nice, neat way of doing it. So it's essentially a wireless connection directly between the two devices. Here you see on the right hand side of my MacBook is the Lunar Display dongle plugged in. And we're all automatically up and running with this uh, working. So I could, if I wanted to, just drag this interface into the screen of my uh, MacBook Pro. But I just want to show you that um, one of the things you've got in this interface is where do you want the screen to be? Essentially, where do you think it's going to be? Um, and if I show you best, I think I can best show you on this screen here. We have a setting where we've got it to say that we want it to be on the left, on the right. And you can see what it's doing is kind of messing up with 
my screen over here but this is just the way that I'm sharing it. This is not actually related to how it would work. But, uh, but I've also got the ability to select a custom setting. So I want to select a custom setting and that custom setting means that I can go into a range just here and I can say that I want the display to be underneath. You'll see what I mean there. So if I click on done, so what happens now on my shared screen is that uh, it basically starts to share both screens halfway and halfway. That's because I don't have enough room top and bottom to show both of the screens in the demo that I'm about to be showing you. Uh, but that's the way that that would work. Let me bring you back to the overall settings so you can see how that works now. So now that I've done that, I can actually drag this into and back up to the other monitor. So I've got full use now of my 5K Retina iMac screen using it with my uh, MacBook Pro. All of my dock icons are on the left hand side here. I could change the, uh, the main display to be the MacBook Pro if I wanted to, or I can leave it as the main large iMac. So let me just open up another uh, monitor or another application just so you can see a window. So I've got a window there and I can just drag that window straight back down as you see to my, to my MacBook Pro, Pro screen. And it's exactly the same as you would always have running two monitors connected. We're just using Lunar Display to be able to do that. And of course the great magic is that we've got the ability to use your old iMac. This is the trick, this is the new thing about this. Your old iMac screen can now be used as a monitor for your new M series Mac or even your old Intel Mac, if I've got an Intel, as I say, 2019 Mac. This um, screen that we see here, this interface here that's the lunar display interface i can close that so i'm going to just close that down watch me and uh, just click it and everything still carries on working as i want it to it's just a, a an interface for lunar display if i want to bring that back up then i can go up to the top uh, icon at the top left of the screen here click on it and it brings back that interface for me. So we don't have to have that open at all. And really that's it. Now I'll just come back and chat to you face to face essentially. I prefer to have a, wireless, a wired connection between the two devices. But that of course in this situation would mean that you have to get yourself a, uh, a converter, USB-C converter to ethernet and then connect that to your router. So in most situations, I presume that most people will just be using the wireless connection between the two devices. Now, in terms of speed, it's not massively fast, but it is fast enough to work very nicely. And you can watch videos, that kind of thing, quite happily between the two devices. So on your iMac screen, when you're running a video, let's say from YouTube or something like that, you'll be able to watch it quite happily on your iMac screen. Um, there is a little bit of a delay, very small though, and you'll certainly get used to it. And the fact that you can use your iMac as a monitor is great. But the other advantage, as many of you will know from my previous Lunar Display demonstrations, is that you can then use your the hard drive within your iMac on your network. So you can start to save files to it and certainly recover files from it as well. When we're using Lunar Display in this situation, we're unable to use applications that are on the iMac, okay? So all of the applications you're going to use are going to be on the MacBook Pro, and you'll be able to use those in the screen. But in this mode, your your applications that are on the iMac are not going to be able to be used. All right, so just to show you now how I can close that down. Firstly, I'm going to quit the uh, application that I launched just there. Quit it just here. And then what I can do is 
if I want to stop sharing the screen, I would go to Lunar Display here. The Lunar Display is shown in the top of the screen. So in the top left of the screen here, remember what we're seeing now, this dock is my MacBook Pro dock, okay? So here we can see that and I can quit out of that and I'm going to switch back and I go and quit Lunar Display. Then I return to my normal working for my MacBook Pro and my iMac is now running Lunar Display Secondary waiting for me to relaunch the Lunar Display application on here. If I don't want to go ahead any further with this, on the screen on the left hand side here, you can see there's an escape button. It says to quit Lunar, which is the Lunar Display Secondary app. So if I now go and I'll click on that and I hit escape, then my iMac returns to its normal operations. Okay, so again, I'll just show you the overview. So my iMac is now in its normal overview, its normal operations. I've got a mouse here for the iMac and I can use that and I can separately use the uh, MacBook Pro. They're no longer linked. To link them again, let me just very quickly show you. So on here, I'm going to launch Lunar Display Secondary. So I'll go over to that and I'll click on Lunar Display Secondary. And you see it's got the black screen that waits for me to now launch the Lunar Display main app on the MacBook Pro. And that's up here for me. That's obviously in my dock, wherever I want that to be. So I'm going to launch that. And you'll see in a second or two that the two will actually launch and link. They'll see each other and automatically connect. So they're just about to do that. And they have done that. Let me bring you the overview. So the overview again shows you that that's the case. And again, as I say, I can now use my trackpad or whatever I might have connected to my MacBook Pro to run the applications, of course, on uh, that we're seeing on the secondary screen, which is my old iMac. So I can, as I say, turn that interface off and now I have full functionality. If I launch Safari as an example, uh, Safari is launching there and I could bring that screen down to my main Mac or take it straight back up to the top here. So I've got the full resolution of the 5K uh, monitor here and I've got whatever screen resolution you'd have on here. Mine's a retina display here, so it works very well in those situations. So I hope that is of use to you and that you found that useful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll mark up at the end here some of the previous lunar display um, sessions that I've shown and I'm happy to answer anything that you need to know. Make sure you use this if you've got an old iMac and you want to use it as a screen. This is the way to go. Thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking to you in the near future. Bye now.